time baby you know what it is don't forget to hit that like button comment what you think about this video when you're done watching and hit that subscribe button if you already have it man also hit that bell for notifications listen falcon and the winter soldier episode three mm. this is a good show i'm sad because we only have three left now already and it just started but it is what it is basically got <laughs> you basically got to equate it to like it's like two marvel movies right or three rather so i take it but this episode was a lot of action some good comedy and some good character growth for both bucky and sam so the main meat of the episode was them with zemo so they busted zemo out which was a hilarious scene of bucky explaining to sam how it happened, hypothetically, and then Zemo showing up. And Zemo throughout this episode was interesting because I couldn't grab, I couldn't take a grasp of his character too much in Civil War. Like, I understood his motivations, but he didn't really stand out to me as a villain. So now that he's quote-unquote on a good side for right now, I really like him. I like what they're doing with him. He got the baddest fucking drip you've seen in Marvel. Like, that coat that he got that's just flapping in the wind. I need one. Actually, I'm going to find one. So, clap it up for Zemo. Making me care for Zemo. These Disney Plus shows have made me care about a lot of the characters I haven't cared about. We got Sharon. She came back. And it's, she had most of the action in this episode, actually. So... Zemo, Bucky, and Sam are in a container talking to the doctor who made the serum. And Sharon's just busting down a whole bunch of soldiers, a whole bunch of bounty hunters, left and right, left and right. So I like that little correlation to where the woman was doing all the, the heavy lifting and these guys just sitting there having a chit-chat conversation. So I really enjoyed it. Um, more, more little tidbits here and there about who our villain is. So we got... We have three villains, potentially. We have Zemo, who can switch sides. We have Carly and her gang, who we got some more little backstory on that made us kind of feel for her because her, her mom unfortunately passed away. And then we got this new person called the Power Broker, who we don't get to see this episode. So who's the villain? You could say technically four, because the new cat and his partner are kind of teeter in the line of being an antagonist for Sam and Bucky, so I don't know. It's a wild goose chase to, to try to figure out who the main villain is, so I'm not even going to try to tackle that right now. I'm thinking if I had to give you some type of answer, maybe this power broker guy, but they kind of alluded to the, in the at the end of the episode, toward the end, that Carly and them kind of took away all his power because they got all the serum and now the doctor's dead. And uh, informant lady is dead as well. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but comedy-wise, it was more of a serious tone this time. Like, most of the comedy came from them in a party in a bar. And uh, Sam helped them to drink the freaking snake liquor. That was disgusting. Ew, I can't believe he did that. That was hilarious. Um, another funny scene was a callback to the Civil War. Where they were sitting in a car. And Sam was like, you're not going to move your seat up, are you? And, Bucky's like, no. <laughs> so it was the same thing when they was trying to like move up, move over in the car. So I like that. I enjoyed that. I like little callbacks like that. But all in all, good episode once again. Like, um, I'm interested to see what goes on with Carly because she's kind of losing it. Like, she blew up an entire building full of people. And her partner didn't really seem to be with that because their group is for the people. Like they're stealing food and supplies for the people. So for her to go off the deep end and blow up some people that's in the building and didn't do anything, I'm a little concerned. So we'll see where we go with Carly. 
We'll see if Sam actually gets Sharon's name pardoned. I don't feel like... I feel like he's about to be a criminal at this point. And... But the real kicker was the end. You know they always got to end with something. Wakanda. Wakanda forever! Now when I first saw like him walk off, I thought he was about to, I thought a trigger was about to happen or something maybe, but I was not expecting Wakanda. I don't recognize the girl that showed up. I think this is someone new. But, man, if we see some more Wakanda people in this show, oh my god. Yes, sir. I like it. So, they have to Zemo. So, they can't protect Zemo from an entire country. And that country being Wakanda. So, we'll see where that goes. But let me know what you guys think about the episode. Don't forget, once again, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Come back again. This is A&M Anime.